G'day, g'day, you bloody legend. Knock, knock, gingerbread's here. There's one. Oh my god, we're gonna get, get a shuffle car. It's a great, I'm having a good day. We're gonna get the shuffle car. We're gonna go get, get the shuffle car. I am Tiger Woods in a Christmas sweater. I don't know, I don't know how you're going to deal with that. Get get it. It. What the yes. hell just happened? Go. You Let's got go. it. You got one, dude. I'll take in it. In this honestly. video, we're going to discuss Lennon Eckert, aka Laserbeam, who's an Australian YouTube content creator, professional gamer, and internet personality who has gone from a 15 year old high school dropout to one of the most influential gaming content creators in YouTube history. I have done a ton of research into Laserbeam over the last few years, and in this video, I'm gonna share what made Laserbeam so successful on YouTube, so we can perhaps implement some of that in our own lives. This video is gonna cover everything in Laserbeam's journey, from his glory days of Madden content, all the way up to his glorious Fortnite memes. But let's start at the beginning. Lennon Eckert, AKA Laserbeam, was born on the 14th of December, 1994, in the central coast of Australia, near Sydney. Laserbeam has two brothers named Jared and Callan, as well as a sister named Tanner, who is also a YouTuber. But we'll come back to that later. Laserbeam dropped out of school at the age of 15 to start working for his family's construction business. Uh, I went to high school. I, I dropped out in year 10 though. I'm a high school dropout. Just goes to show what you can achieve if you don't give a f about education. However, Lazebeam has explained that he didn't really enjoy the construction work, and at the time he wanted a job that he actually loved doing. What got you into YouTube? Um, well... I was searching for like a job that I love to do. Uh, I, I used to work in construction. That's my family business. That's what the rest of my family does essentially. Uh, but I never really loved it, you know? In 2014, Laserbeam began posting slow motion demolition videos on his very first YouTube channel, Crush Slash, which was a mix of construction work and content creation. This was the beginning of Laserbeam's YouTube journey. Well, I mean, we crushed it. I don't know what I expected. Man, kids in Africa could have eaten that. Lazebeam would post slow motion videos of himself destroying different items with different construction vehicles, such as excavators, earth movers, and diggers. He stated that the videos he posted were basically an Australian ripoff of the slow mo guys. These videos proved to be popular, with one specific video actually getting him onto a television show. I've been wanting to get this in a video somehow forever. This is the perfect time. I was on television. Unfortunately, I only have Twitter quality, but here we go, ready? Fear bowling with an excavator. The commentary on that is terrible. However, Lazebeam stated in a tweet in April 2019 that he stopped posting this channel as all of his camera gear was stolen in 2014. All of these original slow motion construction videos have now been removed from YouTube. In a tweet in October 2016, Lazebeam posted a link for one of the videos, but upon clicking that link, it advises that the video has now been removed. A lot of people have found out recently that I actually had another channel. It's called Crush Slash. It's not a gaming channel. Uh, it had like a hundred subs before I had to stop. But yeah, it was basically me smashing the shit out of stuff with excavators. <laughs> and like construction equipment. Because I used to be in construction, so I had access to all that sort of stuff. And I used to just smash shit. Yeah, I really liked that channel. But sadly, all my camera gear got stolen. Like five grand's worth. Couldn't afford to replace it, so... I started the gaming channel. Despite all of Laserbeam's camera equipment being stolen in 2014, it didn't deter him from continuing YouTube. As on January 4th, 2015, when Lennon was 20 years old, the now popular Laserbeam channel was born. Laserbeam has stated that the name came from an old RuneScape account. Uh, why did you decide to call yourself Laserbeam? Uh, it's an old game character I had like 10 years ago when I played RuneScape. I don't know why I made it my channel name. And his first video was uploaded approximately one month later on February 16, 2015, named Can Vince Wilfork Get a 99 Yard Receiving Touchdown? Covering the game Madden 2015. And as the top comment says most accurately, and a bloody legend was born. Madden 2015 was the first game that Lazebeam began posting on his YouTube channel. This was the beginning of Lazebeam's comedic, challenge style videos that we all know and love today. However, after posting 10 Madden videos, Lazebeam began to move on to different games, beginning with The Sims, followed by GTA, NBA, and eventually the UFC. What the f? Is that a Bigfoot? Lazebeam was a very talented content creator from the day he started YouTube. We can tell this is the case from looking at his subscriber count over his first year on YouTube, because he had one of the fastest growing channels that we've ever seen in YouTube history. Lazerbeam reached 1,000 subscribers only three months after making his first video on the channel on May 11th, 2015. So I just wanted to make a quick video about the fact that I've reached 1,000 subscribers. I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you. 
A thousand subscribers is amazing. But this 1,000 subscribers would only be the beginning for Laserbeam in his first year, hitting 50,000 subscribers only one and a half months later in July 2015. Just a massive thank you. Like, YouTube is now my job. I never thought I'd say that. A month and a half ago, I had 1,000 subscribers, and now I'm at 50 bloody thousand. The other significance of hitting 50,000 subscribers is that he posted the first video of him showing his face to YouTube. He had hit 50,000 without once showing his fans what he looked like. All right, speaking of my face, actually, um, this is the first time I've put it in a video. Uh, sorry if I'm not stereotypically Australian enough for you, but we don't all look like Crocodile Dundee. Laserbeam also exclaimed that he was so surprised and said, I mean, think where we might be in another month and a half. We, we might be at bloody 100,000. Like, how, how bloody ridiculous would that be? It would be absolutely insane. Laserbeam actually predicted his own future with this statement because one month, 20 days later, he released the video 100k subscribers where he claimed to have hit the 100k mark. G'day, fellas. I was going to do a whole big 100,000 subscriber special, but with my whole office move in and all the stuff I've had over the last four weeks, I just haven't had the opportunity. But it wasn't over there for Laserbeam, because only two months later again, he was at 200k. G'day fellas, we've reached a milestone. 200,000 bloody subscribers. So overall, Laserbeam went from zero to 200,000 subscribers in only eight months on YouTube. Go back eight months ago, when I first started my channel, or this channel anyway, I had zero subscribers in February, all right? In May, I hit 1,000. In July, I hit 50,000. In mid-August, or mid to late August, I hit 100,000. And now on October 26, I hit 200,000. That is not something I could ever possibly imagine happening. Lazebeam had such a successful beginning on YouTube as he had the natural ability to think of challenges that kept his viewers engaged and entertained. His viewers would watch the entirety of his videos as he mixed up a hilarious over-the-top personality with impossible challenges that he normally ended up beating, which is similar to what he's continued up until today with Fortnite. A mix of Madden and GTA is how Lazebeam's channel continued through 2015 and into early 2016, until he released the video, Do What Makes You Happy, on February 16th, 2015. 2016, exactly one year after his first upload. But I wanted to speak about videos because I've come to the realization recently where I've just decided to say Fuck it. I want to make videos I enjoy. I don't want to make videos just to get views. I don't want to make videos just to get subs. I want to make videos I enjoy, which is why you've noticed I've been playing more games. I've been experimenting with challenges in different games. And I've overall just been trying to mix things up a bit. In this video, Laserbeam explained that he no longer wanted to create specifically Madden and GTA videos, but rather whatever made him happy. This video was a Kickstarter into Laserbeam creating other variety content, such as VR, Pokemon Go, and other random internet games. <coughs> Nothing to see here. Just a fellow middle-aged construction worker. What are you? What are you looking at, bitch? Nothing to see here, mate. This proved to be successful for Laserbeam, growing his subscriber base gradually by experimenting with various games. He surpassed 500,000 subscribers on July the 31st, 2016, and eventually 1 million subscribers one year later in July 2017. 1 million! Hooray! Following Laserbeam's surpassing of a million subscribers in July 2017, he released a video in August 2017 called Demonetized, which explained that given his non-family friendly content, most of his videos were no longer being monetized and earning laser beam and income. Now, the, the whole demonetization thing, it's uh, it's like a really like stressful, annoying situation. It's not entirely a joke. There's a lot of actual stress and bullshit to deal with. But yes, my channel has been pretty, pretty fun by demonetization. No, I'm not going family friendly. I mean, uh, three days ago, I did a video of setting a house of kids on fire. If you are worried about me going family friendly, then I think you should watch that and all your concerns will be lifted. This forced Laserbeam to move from his apartment in Sydney back to his family home on the Central Coast in 2017. You guys have followed my story, you know I'm demonetized from the ad apocalypse, so I moved home, I renovated my room. He claimed that he was not gonna become a family friendly channel for monetization, which should be noted for later when we talk about Laserbeam's transition into Fortnite content. If you think less of me, literally s I have to set, I've got to remember, you have to be Disney Channel now on YouTube. It was also around this time in 2017 that Laserbeam's sister, Tana, 
started uploading videos to YouTube. Tanner started by uploading vlogs and random videos with Lazebeam and eventually transitioned into Fortnite content. Tanner posted a lot of content that gave us more insight into Lazebeam's life and general antics. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't look at his ugly face. You're here for me. That's the only reason. You what, bitch? And 2017 was a very important year, not only for Laserbeam, but for gaming in general. As on the 26th of September 2017, Fortnite Battle Royale was released. Fortnite Battle Royale was often described as a mix of Minecraft and PUBG, and whether you love it or you hate it, there's no denying that it absolutely took the world by storm. It provided an opportunity for no-name gamers to become internet sensations overnight. Oh. Ooh. As well as provide an opportunity for current YouTubers to create new content for their channels. Laserbeam took advantage of this, posting his first Fortnite video on October 18th, 2017, named Number One Battle Royale Strategy. A few days ago, I played a game called Fortnite. It's basically a cartoony PUBG. Right? That, 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 that's. that's that, 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 that. So uh, I've decided to come back and set myself a challenge. I'm gonna play this game until I get number. One. There was one thing that this video pointed out about Laserbeam. He was a really bad Fortnite player at the beginning. Keep your eyes peeled. Okay, they're better than me. That's what we've learned here. See if I can't snot. Okay, we're about to get our ass punched in. I placed 69th though. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. However, this did not deter him as he continued to grind so he could get that very first Victory Royale for his 1.1 million subscribers he had at the time. Lazebeam had some close calls, almost getting a win multiple times. However, it took Lazebeam a full 10 days before getting his first victory royale. He posted on the 28th of October, 2017, 15 hours, one challenge. What was this challenge that took him 15 hours? Well, that challenge was just to get a win. Rocking that super rare OG Skull Trooper, Lazebeam got so close to getting a win multiple times, but he can never quite take home that victory royale. In the end of the video, following a very sneaky sky-based strategy, Lazebeam finally got his first Fortnite win. Yes! 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 Legends for sticking with me even though I'm garbage. All those hours, all those top five finishes. And this is where Laserbeam really found his love for Fortnite Battle Royale. However, he didn't really get serious with Fortnite posts until Season 2 in March 2018. But the first half of 2018 continued on, business as usual for Laserbeam, until around June 2018. Laserbeam's explosive growth into being one of the biggest gaming creators began in June 2018, when Laserbeam posted his No Scope Only Challenge video. This video was extremely popular at the time, as it was the time when challenge videos were trending and Fortnite's popularity was at its absolute peak. No, not stop! No! This video currently has 15 million views, a strong percentage of those coming from the first few days of posting. The growth from June 2018 was absolutely insane for Laserbeam. The No Scope Challenge video was followed by these videos. Jesus Helps Me Win in Fortnite, 21 million views. Invisible Trap Glitch, 19 million views. First Ever Draw Royale, 17 million views. The list goes on. Yeah, he's ours. I got him, I got him now, I'll do it, I'll do it. Hey, hey, little buddy. You. It's all gonna be okay. Laserbeam went from 1.5 million subscribers in June 2018 to 3.1 million subscribers in August 2018, just two months later. Continuing on from August 2018, he was gaining around 1 million subscribers every month all the way up to June 2019 when Lazebeam's growth started to slow down alongside the popularity of Fortnite. Lazebeam continued to post Fortnite challenge videos alongside other games and other reaction videos all the way up until recently. Something else happened in 2019 for Lazebeam that we should also talk about. Lazebeam started dating News Elk's sister, Ilsa Watkins, in January 2019. This has created an opportunity for a bunch of video ideas as well as a ton of memes. Well, that's the only reason you're here and to also make News Elk mad. Yes, that's, that's News Elk's sister right there. Victory Royales. Right. As well as dating Ilsa, so, Lazebeam also posted a video on October 9th, 2019, where he explained that he has been battling anxiety, and when he has an anxious day or week, it reflects in his content. Like, you'd think, oh, you know, you got 11 million subs, you get millions of views of video, what's there to be anxious about? I don't know, I've always battled anxiety. I have anxiety about everything. The last few weeks, I've been convincing myself I'm dying. I had lumps in my neck, man, I was stressing, I wasn't sleeping. Turns out I'm completely fine.
But I was like, I was freaking out, man. Lazebeam doesn't explain why he's feeling anxious, but it's possibly due to the slowdown of Fortnite and the log growth of his channel compared to his past. And that brings us up to now. If we look at Lazebeam's YouTube channel as at April 2020, we can see that he's gone from uploading daily to uploading only two or three times per week. This might indicate a lack of motivation from Laserbeam, but it's likely that he'll still continue to post a few times per week. That's gonna be all for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys could like and subscribe, I'd appreciate the hell out of that. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.